Hey guys, it's Squall157 here, and today I'm going to be talking about what we know so far about Halo Infinite. So first off guys, in the opening trailer for Halo Infinite, a Reddit user discovered that the trailer actually contains Morse code. The message transcribes to SOS Zeta Halo GRD. Now I've no clue what the GRD stands for, however I do know what Zeta Halo is. Zeta Halo is Installation 07. And Zeta Halo is absolutely stacked in Halo lore. Now I'm actually going to be doing a separate video on the history of Installation 07 but I'll just give you guys a little taster of what we could be in for in Halo Infinite. Installation 07 is where the Primordial converted Master Builder Faber and Mendicant Bias to join the Flood. That's just a small taster of the history behind Installation 07. I can't wait to touch down and explore and see what 343 have in store for us in Halo Infinite. Now something that made me really excited when I read it was that uh, Halo Infinite already supports 4 player split screen, which is fantastic. It really feels like 343 have been listening to the community and are really trying to bring back a lot of our favourite features and in this current market where some game developers have been letting us down recently. It's good to see that 343 are striving to make up for the disappointment of Halo 5 and I think the statement that Bonnie Ross released epitomises this more than anything. And this is what she had to say. Honestly, we have made mistakes along the way. The community has helped us in creating a good learning experience for us, but I think that when we look at Halo, the universe is the most important character and we are the stewards of the universe. And if we are going to keep the universe alive and healthy, I think that we have to ensure that we are doing right by Halo. I do look at, at this as a very humbling experience. The whole team looks at, at this not just as our universe, it's the fans universe. It is a part of our culture, this precious, precious world, and we are responsible for taking care of it. And we want to do it right. The work that they have done, the work that we are doing in Halo Infinite is something that I am proud of. Now after reading that I have fairly high expectations for Halo Infinite and not only has her statement filled me with excitement and hope but a tweet from Frank O'Connor. In the tweet Frank states that exploration will be rewarded. Which to me sounds like 343 are maybe going for an open world Halo or maybe it will be like Halo 3 or Halo CE's um, style of open map. Either way it's cool to know that um, you know we'll be rewarded for going around and basically being gamers, exploring random crap off in the distance. It's little things like this, you know, grabbing three of your buddies, going in a warthog and just exploring a massive area which can lead to just hours upon hours of endless fun. And that's the basic fundamentals of what Halo is. But okay, that might be a slight exaggeration, but you know, certainly the big open worlds and playing with your buddies is a massive part of what made halo ce and halo successful as a series and i feel that it's great that 343 are really trying to recapture and bring that back into the series there are a few things that i've missed that we've been told um one of those things is certainly that there will be a multiplayer beta before launch which is good because then that allows us to test out the game and see what it's like and hopefully if there's any bugs or glitches we can report them back to 343 and they can fine iron out those nooks and crannies before the full game releases. Now this next one uh, to me is a big personal one. The fact that they haven't ruled out playable elites which will be so <laughs> fucking kickass if they do come back. And I really hope that this rumour is true and that we can just run around as elites and Spartans fighting each other again one more time. And the final leak or rumour is the fact that the customization is inspired by Reach which is such a good decision by 343 because for me personally I feel like Reach had the best customization in the series and I know quite a lot of people thought that as well so I think that was a very 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 good decision by 343. Unfortunately the only disappointing thing is the fact that there's no release date yet for Halo Infinite but from all the leaks and well, certainly the stuff that's confirmed and the potential rumours, I feel that even though we don't have a release date yet, I feel that 343 are on the right path to certainly bringing us a fantastic Halo game, and I feel like it will be more than worth the wait if we have to wait until the tail end of this year before we get it. Anyway guys, that's all from me. Are you guys excited for Halo Infinite, or are you a bit more reserved? Let me know in the comments down below guys, don't forget to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.